as a viewer, when I was watching Mandalorian and I saw that Darksaber for the first time, I was like, wait a second. How, how, wait, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> Where did you get that armor? This armor has been in my family for three generations. You do not cover your face. You are not Mandalorian. He's one of them. Dink Ferrick. One of what? I am Bo-Katan of Clan Kreese. I was born on Mandalore and fought in the Purge. I am the last of my line. She can't help but be a little bit different because now we actually see like like me in her more so than than when I was voicing her. So she can't help but be a little bit more like me. And um, you know, I, I did everything in my power to get rid of that. <laughs> but this season, we see a we see a lot more of her backstory come into play, which was fu so fun for me because I feel so connected to that story because it's been you know uh, all I've known of her for so long. Um, so to see some of that uh, come out has been really fun. I think it's a little different, you know, when you are the voice of something, you definitely add to it and you have an opinion at work. But I think for myself, I really, really relied heavily on Dave Filoni at work, um, who would tell me if I was doing the right thing because I didn't get to see the animation before I did the voice. So we would try different things. He would tell me the way he wanted it to sound. He would sort of say what was gonna happen and, and things like that. When I went over into live action, the realization dawned on, I mean, it didn't dawn on me, but it, it hit me like a ton of bricks that like, I, I have to have ownership over this character now. Like I have to stand up for what I think she would do and what she wouldn't do and things like that. And a bit more than I would have when I played the voice because it, it wasn't about me then. It was about what Dave wanted. And it still is about what Dave and John want, don't get me wrong. But I do have much more input now. I think that the big question that people should be asking themselves is what's different? You know, we saw Bo-Katan accept the dark saber before as a gift and she's not now so something's changed something's different she's changed how did she lose it you know i think that that's one of the things that like as a viewer when i was watching mandalorian and i saw that dark saber for the first time i was like wait a second how, how, wait what happened <laughs> <laughs> and so i think that that is a really really interesting place to start and that is where we start I can lead you to one of their kind. But first we need your help on our mission. From the very beginning of shooting the season, I said to John Favreau that I wanted to bring my daughter to work and do a photo shoot with her and Grogu in the pram. And I didn't actually think they'd let me, I was kind of joking. Um, and then they ultimately let me do it. So my husband brought my daughter to work in her little Princess Leia jumpsuit and um, the entire puppeteer team actually pulled the pram out of storage, the old one, and they came and they were actually controlling Grogu in this like, professional photo shoot with my four month old daughter. And I was like, and I was like dressed as Bo-Katan. And I was like, what is happening in this world that, that, is, that this is my world? And I'm hoping at some point they'll let me do something with that because like, it's a funny Christmas card. It's a super funny Christmas card. That was truly like a, a really, really special day. You know, it is a family over there and, and I went through a lot of changes during this season. So I think sci-fi fans in general are incredibly supportive. I always say that they'll follow you anywhere. I mean, they've watched movies I feel like I should give them their money back for. I think that, that Star Wars fans are passionate, like more so than any um, universe that I've been in. It's just been awesome.